E. I've been wanting to do a review on this new tripod that I've got. It's a uh, Leo Photo, Leo Photo, and it's a uh, LN 364C. It's carbon fiber, 10, 10 layers of carbon fiber. Um, I got this a couple weeks ago and haven't got to use it yet. I got it for set up for wildlife. That's what, I wanted a good wildlife lens uh, to carry with me and uh, to use my gimbal head on it. Um, but this thing, when I first got it, got the package, I noticed this thing is super heavy. It's built like a tank. Um, one of the good things, it's got the leveling bubble on it. But this thing, I mean, if you can, you can see how big it is. It's just massive. Uh, and it's probably the shortest. Uh, it's close to three foot tall. You can, I've got it. I've not extended. Um, but one of the things I like about it, it's got the uh, a leveling base on it, so you can actually uh, you loosen this. Even if your tripod is not completely level, you can level it up however you need, and then just tighten this back down. So that works out good if you're, you know, moving around through the woods and stuff. You can kind of adjust it, tweak it as you need to. But one of the things I like about it, it's got two. I bought this leveling base head with it, um, separate, but it's got another base that comes with it. Um, but one of the things I like about this thing is if you've got another ball head or something, you can press this and release it. And you switch your other base out so you just pop pop the other base in with the ball head you don't have to unscrew your ball head and change it all out or anything you can just quick you know just lock this in and you're good to go um, come around to the other side it's got a it's got a hook on there you can hang a hang weight or a bag which you shouldn't need to this thing weighs seven and a half pounds without the not including the gimbal head just the tripod itself so and it's massive i'm telling you this thing is built like a tank and they, they make a bigger size than this one but i'm i'm glad i didn't order it because it, it would have just been too big after looking at it and seeing it this one this is way big enough. I mean, the other one is, is rated to hold 110 pounds. This one holds 77 and a half pounds. Um, but this was, this is extremely, I think the other one weighs close to 10 pounds too. And, and by the time you add a three or four pound gimbal head or five pound gimbal head, you're looking at 15 pounds just in a tripod and, and gimbal. But let me extend this thing out and I'll show you how big it is. Well, you got this thing extended out. Let me tell you, this thing is massive. I don't know if you can see, but it's, I mean, this thing is just huge. Um, so I'm 6'3", and this is me standing, so I'm, I can't even use it all the way up. I mean, I don't know. This thing, I mean, my camera is going to be sitting about right here, so this thing is just massive. I mean, it's, I'm going to have to lower it down some, uh, but when I set it up to use it, anyway... I hope to get to use it because I'm up here looking for a big bull moose to photograph and we just seen a mama bear and three cubs when uh, we pulled in the uh, campground and I didn't get to take any pictures or anything because I didn't have my camera ready. So we're going to go look for them. Y'all have a good day.